A lot of moving parts today in our area and across the state when it comes to coronavirus. Let's bring in Dr. Jeff Potoff, UW Health's Chief Quality Officer, to talk about this. Dr. Potoff, it's always good to see you. I think you're the busiest guy, busiest <laughs> doctor around in the state. Uh, we're seeing more and more states and cities implement these mask mandates or even going back to stay safe at home orders. We've seen it in Chicago and the governor talks about it here. What are your thoughts on these and, and can they still, are they working enough that people should be embracing them? Yeah, so the science behind mask mandates or, or wearing a mask really is irrefutable. We know that if you do it, uh, it works. Uh, same with social distancing, uh, very effective. You know, when we hear people say, hey, we're, we're doing this stuff and we're still having high cases, what's going on? Well, it's not that they don't work, it's that we're not doing it. Uh, and I think as our cases are skyrocketing out of control, uh, it's not unreasonable to think about more restrictive measures uh, such as lockdowns, whether those are more broad scale or just targeted at specific areas where we know the virus is transmitting uh, with you know great uh, fluidity. So if you were to target something right now, where could you get the best results? If you that because that term lockdown scares a lot of people. Yeah, I think if you're looking at, you know, where are we finding this transmitting the most, uh, we're finding it transmitting in small gatherings right now. So uh, people who are having uh, private properties or private uh, parties, uh, gatherings in their home, uh, you know, friends getting together, uh, certainly in establishments where you can't mask and you're close together, restaurants and bars. Uh, I know that's just really bad news for them, but unfortunately, uh, not trying to pick on them. It's just uh, that's where we're seeing the virus transmit. Uh, if we were going to do targeted lockdowns, those might be some areas that we we could have some success in. Uh, Dr. Potoff, as we head to the holidays, this was a time of year where people were really looking forward to getting together after being separated for such a long time period. But uh, as hard as it may sound, are, are these going to have to be Zoom Thanksgivings and Christmases? Is that the safest way to go through this? Yeah, I'm really worried about this. I still hear people talking about their Thanksgiving get togethers. We just cannot do that right now. You know, we have a light at the end of the tunnels. These vaccines look promising, uh, but we can't have gatherings at Thanksgiving. Uh, that might be the straw that breaks the camel's back for hospital systems trying to keep up with this. So virtual meetings, uh, you know, talk to your cousin Vinny by FaceTime, but uh, no in-person gatherings this Thanksgiving. Yeah, I know my cousin Vinny. I'm not sure we'll be talking. <laughs> uh, just kidding. Thank you, Dr. Potoff, to uh, talk about this serious issue.